All right. Uh, so, Bill, since you've got the costume on, would you explain to me, please, what all these people are doing uh, dressed up <laughs> uh, in these insane costumes? What is going on here? What is he talking about insane costumes? Yeah, Did you really see perfect, perfect. normal people. I mean, these Absolutely. people know where it's at in terms of Star Trek. Uh, they're, they're the heart of the movement that's kept the show alive. Um, we and Jimmy and Nichelle up here, they're, they were the stars of the show, but the fans uh, have kept the momentum going for these past 10 years, and hopefully they're going to bring it back. Yeah, but who sure are these people? And actually, are they... they're the real stars of the show. Huh? They're the real stars of the show. Well, why do you say that? Because without them, uh, it would just have been another canceled show, and a nice memory. And uh, here are many of the characters who uh, you saw in the show. And uh, it's created a lot of imagination and uh, love out there. And they've taken off from even characters in, to, in the show to imaginary characters who might have been in the show on another planet if it had time, right? Yeah, and a lot of we'd positive have time. things. <laughs> Lots and of without positive the, things uh, come out. The basic groundwork having been done by Star Trek, we wouldn't even have had a good movie like Star Wars. That's right. Uh, here's Jawa here. work was done. Did, right. did, did you see Star Wars? You obviously oh, did. Oh, yes. It's oh. gorgeous. Uh, you really liked it. Oh, fantastic. Because we had uh, Sulu... Um, um, George Takei. Takei on yeah. the news the other night. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, he kind of uh, vacillated about whether it was almost like after Star Trek, there was nothing. Uh, uh -huh. I, I got the impression that maybe he didn't like Star Wars as much. I don't think that you... Um can will dislike it or, or can have to protect or defend oh, Star Trek. Liked it. I don't you know, because Star Trek stands he wanted it, to make it a stands statement. on its own. You know, I haven't seen Star Wars yet, so I can't judge. You'll have to have a talk with George. Well, we'll take I, you downtown. I can, I can tell you one of the things that measure, probably measures Star Wars high is that the Trekkers like Star Wars. A lot of the Trekkers like Star Wars, right? right. And so if they like it, Then, then it has to have value because they have uh, extremely good taste. Well, it's just a gorgeous, <laughs> it's a gorgeous, fun show. Yeah, but yeah. I still want to know who these people are because yeah. I understand that that um, you know there's a convention going on over here at the Holiday Inn of Trek. What is it? Trekkers. Uh, Trek I said Trekkies uh, before the show this morning and got hissed. <laughs> I thought that's what uh, these well, are, uh, are camp like followers of, of Star Trek. Little, little, what? Kids, little uh, children sometimes are referred to as Trekkies. Little Trekkies. Who just kind of follow along and don't really understand the, uh, the intellectual action behind the show. God. But there's, there's a cult of people who go around to these conventions and get all dressed up and stuff like that. And are, are they, are they uh, running away from some guy with a net? Or who, who in the... <laughs> 